Hi, I'm Shannon Zebra with Progeny, and today we're going to talk about testosterone. Is it a way to boost fertility in men, or is it the ultimate sperm killer? Before we dive into this exciting conversation about testosterone and sperm, I just want to do the YouTube thing and ask that you subscribe, like some videos, maybe share a video that you find helpful with someone else. These kinds of things really help. Okay, on to testosterone. These days, testosterone is being used a lot, and in many instances, it's a really great thing. Low T in men can be a real problem, and it's easier now than ever before for men to get their hands on testosterone pills. But is testosterone a cure for infertility in men? Well, that's a question we asked Dr. Sandy Chuan from the San Diego Fertility Center. You could tell that it's a question she hears a lot, as she kind of chuckled when we brought it up. Yeah, testosterone. Um, you know, it seems like it's your friend, but it actually isn't because you'll feel really great when you take testosterone. And for a lot of our men who, you know, are under a lot of stress or have stressful jobs, and as we get older, I think it's very common now for people to experience the symptoms of low testosterone. Um, and if you go to your primary care doctor who doesn't really understand how the endocrinology of the body works, they may go ahead and prescribe you testosterone. But unfortunately, you will feel great. You're gonna get a lot of serum testosterone but when your brain sees that, it's actually gonna negatively impact your sperm production because the brain is a really smart organ. It doesn't wanna work harder than it has to. So basically what it's gonna do is shut down the stimulation to the testicle to produce more testosterone. And in that same um, line of thought, you then limit the hormones that stimulate sperm production as well. And so along with decrease in testosterone production by the testicle, you will start to see a lower production of sperm cells as well. And in some men, depending on how long you've been on it and how susceptible you are to this effect, you, I may see azoospermia, which is when I don't see any sperm in the sample at all. Fortunately, this can be reversible. Obviously, if you stop the testosterone, and then there are hormones that we can give to try to help stimulate testicular production of sperm and testosterone again. However, if you're on this for a long time or the effects are severe, do you anticipate that it could take quite some time for it to reverse? And in some rare cases, it may be very difficult to reverse or not reversible. I think in general though, in my experience, it's been possible to get sperm production back, um, but sometimes you're limited though by the amount of sperm that actually comes back. So with the event of IVF and ICSI, which is when uh, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, when we take one sperm and inject it through the shell of the egg, we can really improve the chance of fertilization even when we have very, very little sperm. So just the fact that we can get sperm back, that's really all we need. But do be careful when you are, you know, talking to your physicians about starting testosterone. Okay, so boosting up on testosterone is likely a bad way to boost male fertility. But that doesn't mean that testosterone doesn't play a positive impact in male fertility at all. It's all a balance. Men need to have a proper amount of natural testosterone and a proper amount of natural estrogen to really achieve optimal fertility health. You know, I think for most men, they're like, I'm all testosterone, no estrogen at all. Um, but actually it's a balance, you know? So basically testosterone is the precursor to estrogen. So we all produce estrogen. And actually in fat tissue, there's something called aromatase, which converts testosterone to estrogen. And so there is a link with obesity and higher estrogen levels and lower testosterone levels because you have overconversion. And so there are times when you, if your male fertility specialist checks your hormones, they may see a testosterone estrogen imbalance. And then at that time, they may put you on medication, aromatase inhibitors to prevent that conversion to try to then increase your natural testosterone level. There are also medications um, Clomid is a medication that you know you may have heard of that we use in female infertility a lot to stimulate um, you know more follicular development. Um, but the same medication can be given to men to also stimulate more testosterone production. In which case, then that can also help to improve sperm count because. In, in the testicle, you need to have a high enough concentration of testosterone in order for there to be optimal sperm production. So if your testicular testosterone production is compromised, then that will certainly also compromise sperm production. Now, before you start playing doctor at home, I want you to remember that this is all stuff that you can and really should discuss with your doctor. 
Sometimes when we try to take our health into our own hands, we only make things worse, especially when we're dealing with secondhand information from a friend or some website on the internet. I want to give a big thank you to Dr. Sandy Chuan from the San Diego Fertility Center for helping us today. And I want to thank you for watching.